Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk a few minutes about the hell. So, uh, with my broken English, <laughs> so I invite you to watch this video. Why I decided to do it in English? Maybe because this subject is always less and less popular, we have to find a balance, because the reality is not only the heaven. After our death, each one of us will be judged by God, and uh, we can go uh, either to hell or to heaven. There is no other way. Certainly the, there is also a purgatory, but always ends with heaven but hell and heaven there are eternal reality so uh, this is very important subject i would say more this is the most important topic in our life because it concerns our eternity so today uh, i decided to talk about that uh, our um, point of reference must be the Bible, because uh, the, the most important is what Jesus says about that. And Jesus is talking uh, very often about the, the hell, and uh, for example in chapter 9, uh, the verse 44, or chapter uh, in Matthew chapter 2, uh, verse 12 Jesus is speaking about the uh, uh, unquenchable fire those who will finish in hell they will uh, will suffer the fire without end this is a terrible reality and we have to be careful not to go there and we know that uh, how the, the, the church teaches that the people who die in a mortal sin they will go to hell and so um, i would like to uh, read uh, um, two passages of two saints very popular saints i mean the saint francis who is considered by many people as a reckless guy who who didn't think about the future because he dedicated all his life to god so he was completely free and uh, and joyful man that's why the people started following him because uh, he gave it this beautiful testimony of of love of god so uh, that's true that's true but uh, i would like to read also a passage from his letter this is the letter to the faithful and uh, what he wrote saint francis this joyful man who used to talk to the birds we should all realize that no matter where or how a man dies if he is the, if he is in the state of mortal sin and does not repent when he could have done so and didn't the devil tears his soul from his body with such anguish and distress that only a person who has experienced it can appreciate it all the talent and ability all the learning and wisdom which he thought his own are taken away from him and the worms feast on his body so he loses both body and soul in this short life and goes to hell where he will be tormented without end so saint francis uh, he not just uh, <laughs> He used to talk to the birds and uh, he was for sure a joyful man because he had a perfect relationship with God but he was also uh, aware and he knew that we have to be careful not to lose our eternal happiness uh, because of our sins that's uh, that's he wanted to say it the second one is San Faustina she is a Polish nun uh, very famous today, I think, who is very often um, called as secretary of the God's mercy. Um, and it's correct, I think. I read the diary of, of uh, San Faustina. It's beautiful. 
and uh, so for also it's, uh, it helped me to understand better how great is the love of God, His mercy. Um, but in this diary, uh, you can find also this passage when the angel of Saint Faustina is taking her and bring her to show her the hell. It is written in this uh, in this diary. Today I was led by an angel to the chasms of hell. It is a place of great torture. How awesomely large and extensive it is. The kind of tortures I saw. The first torture that constitutes hell is the loss of God. The second is perpetual remorse of conscience. The third is that one's condition will never change. The fourth is the fire that will penetrate the soul without destroying it, a terrible suffering since it is a purely spiritual fire led by God's anger. The fifth torture is continual darkness and a terrible suffocating smell, and despite the darkness, the devils, the devils and the souls of the damned see each other and all the evil, both of others and their own. The sixth torture is the constant company of the Satan. The seventh torture is horrible despair, hatred of God, vile words, curses and blasphemies. These are the tortures suffered by all the damned together. But that is not the end of the suffering. There are special tortures destined for particular souls. These are the torments of the senses. Each soul undergoes terrible and indescribable sufferings later related to the manner in which it has sent. Someone hearing these words can be scared and discouraged. I would like to say at the end, don't give up because uh, we have a time. If even if you committed a lot of sins, God is merciful and full of love. So change your life, change your life, because you can avoid us all this terrible reality, which is a hell. The people who are in hell, they cannot change their destination because the, there is no exit from there. Like uh, there is no exit from heaven, fortunately. The, those who are saved, they are really saved. <laughs> they, they, they can be uh, full of peace that, that their, their, uh, their destination will never change. But also the, uh, those who, who are in hell, uh, there is this uh, terrible reality, will never change. But your life can change and you can go to heaven even though uh, you committed a lot of sins. But you have to take a decision, take a resolution and to change your life. Yeah.